for sure. Right. So I, I can't give you 100%, but it sounds like that's it. It sounds like it's just wear and tear of, well, you know, you push yourself, you push your body, you works your, works pretty hard. You know, that's the problem with working so damn hard. Yeah, yeah, you know, you got money, but your body breaks down. You know, you work in a warehouse and working in the truck, you know, those are built really hard on your back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you do forklift driving too? When you're yeah. yeah, see, and that forklift's tough anyway. Just no shock. Yeah, no shocks, you're twisted, you're, you know, you're torch, you're just mm -hmm. you're just compressing and irritating and all that stuff. Understand it for me. So, you know, if it is arthritis, you know, the best thing you do is you do you have any stretching routines you can do? I'm like, I mean, I'm sure I can do a little bit of anything. Do you have any stretching routines? Not that I first, not that I really do. Just stuff to try to make my back crack. Okay, face me this way on your side. Hmm. I think a general stretching routine would be good for it, just because you're you're so cooped up. Do you guys do you get any exercise ever? Walk or whatever. How often, how much a day do you walk? Not, not enough to really. And I would tell you, if you want to have longevity in your spine, you need to be doing a couple things different. You need to be getting some type of aerobic activity. You've got to drive blood flow. Sitting in a car, stuff gets dried way faster, and that's what causes the wear and tear to go accelerate. So you need to be exercising, you need to be getting up water, getting up water. Uh, I tried to, my wife kind of forces you to. You know, the water kick thing out there. Yeah, yeah. It has to be a third of your body weight. A minimum a day. That's a shit ton of water. Understand? The other thing you need to be doing is lengthening stuff. So you need to be stretching all these muscles out. Can we print out that uh, general flip back stretching? Can you raise your left leg up for me? No, straight, keep it straight. Straight down, sorry. Now lift it up, the whole thing. One leg? Or? Yeah, yeah, the whole thing though. Lift it, like lift, off the ground. Oh, this like, way. Yeah, that, there you go. Down, other side. Okay, left side again. Right side again. That looks actually really good. That's gonna feel good when you get up. Hmm? That's gonna feel good when you get up. Looks like it's moving. Yeah, when you sit there and your like your spine gets compressed all day, it gets dehydrated. So you're gonna have to force fluid back in there. Think of the joints and the disc and the low back. Think about like a dry, crusty sponge. You know, if it stiffens up, you don't get any fluid exchange. You know, you gotta squeeze it under water and you gotta squeeze it again and squeeze it again. Eventually, it loosens up, right? Mm -hmm. That's the way all the tissues respond to the back. So you have to force fluid in there. And stretching and walking is the best thing you can do for the back. You know, you, you guys need to set a goal a day how much to walk. It, it can be an arbitrary number. It can be a time. I'd recommend time. 30 minutes to start. Okay. Drive some blood flow to that low back. That's going to make you guys feel a whole hell of a lot better. You know, for longer, more importantly. Mm -hmm. Will you go over the stretches with him? Yep. Or right over there for me. Fresh off a four day hotel stay, five days without running, five days without making a single dime. <laughs> and fresh out the gate, first thing in the morning. I spent 446 on fuel. I ain't even made no money yet. I got a load in uh, Cali. Can't think of the name of it, but Southern Cal, not too far outside of LA. So I'm heading there. 
So we'll be able to knock this thousand miles out basically today. So I might make might be able to make a nice old quick pit stop later on. I'll see what happens though, but yeah man. Hotel stay, food, room service. First thing I get hit with is four and some change on a few. God dang. We are back. We back at our favorite uh, little Mexican spot in Colorado, but they they packed it, eh? I ain't never seen it like this. Like we almost was lucky to find a booth. Yeah, we back. Hey, all right. No cap. Give me the mark of Jesus. Let me know. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, enjoy, guys. All right. Love you too. So she drives a school bus. Ah, uh, just got full. We just had a great lunch. Uh, one of our, I guess you call it our favorite. This was our second time going. So I guess you could say it's one of our favorite restaurants. Right? I like it. I mean, you know, everything's fresh. Um, they're pretty fast, clean, it's cozy. Nice little Mexican music playing in the background. <laughs> exactly. So by the food being as good as it was, Ooh. and us being as satisfied as we are, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Tell these people why you just tipped that man. <laughs> why you just tipped the dude no, $2, look. man? Why you tipped okay. the dude $2, okay. man? <laughs> Why you tip the dude $2? I normally right, do go. give good tips. But I feel like he did a whole lot. I mean, the food was good. It was, but the service was good. I was trying to make it an even amount. <laughs> Tab came up to like 27 and some change. She rounded that joint up to $30. <laughs> and gave him $2 and some change tip. But tell the truth, don't I normally give good tips? That's why I'm tripping off this $2 you just, you just gave that dude. <laughs> It was $2.57. You see how she capped it up, right? It was yeah, $2.57. It was real good. Yeah, it was real good. Everything was fresh. It was $2.57. You could tell it was fresh. That's her favorite thing to say. Yeah, but it was You could tell it was fresh. Him. You thought he did bad? We sat in the corner. That wasn't his fault. It was packed when we got he in there. He asked me, did I want some more to drink? He didn't he refill your drink? No. He refilled my joint. Yes. You sure he I remember him asking you if you wanted more lemonade. He asked me about it. I wanted anything else to eat. So with that, I mean, two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> two dollars to hold up, really? Straighten up. Okay, look, I just didn't feel like he just he needed that much tip. What was wrong with two dollars? It was a tip. I still tipped him. Two dollars. I mean, I still tipped him though. You, you did. I didn't just walk out like we tip everywhere we go. Okay. <laughs> $2 tip. You so wrong, though. You did put me out there like that. <laughs> That's all right. Come back. It's going to come back. $2 tip, though. That's how we get down. Oh, oh so you And I got to walk around the truck? Okay. <laughs> she ain't going to let me? Okay. She better have that door unlocked like on the movie. What was that movie, y'all? Yeah. I'm in the driver's seat. Yeah. I knew she had a dough lock. What's that movie? Bronx Tale, I think oh, it Bronx is. Bronx Tale. Yeah. See, she had that dough lock unlocked. Don't be trying to do me like that. I'm saying, though. $2. It was $2.57. <sighs> okay. I mean, it was a bro. tip, though. I'm with you. Look, I remember when I didn't have money to leave a tip, okay? I didn't have money. That's not the case, so. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Two dollars. <laughs> Can't lie, I'm a little hot right now. 
We out here in uh, Cali. Compton to be exact. Supposed to be a live load, pick up at two o'clock. I show up at 20 minutes to two. I'm being told that the pickup ain't gonna be ready yet. They take my number down, all this old crap. So right now we walking to the Carl's Jr. AKA Hardy's. And uh, try to grab something to eat. But then it's like, when they call me, if I ain't back there in a certain time, they'll get a load of somebody else. And what I didn't want to do was be dealing with five o'clock traffic this far down, you know, LA and all that kind of good stuff. I was trying to get in, pick up at two o'clock, live load, be out by three, 3.30 the latest. I don't know what the deal will be now. And we going straight from here to El Paso, Texas, so. We'll see. Well, I said that was fast. I ain't never seen you go that fast. Yeah, man, so it is what it is, but. Walk in and just be like, yeah, I need to use bathroom. Oh yeah, well you know, you, you can do I all types of things in a, like in a bathroom in five minutes. Too. I forgot they had stuff like that in here too, in Cali. Oh, well, like a Mexican. And they gonna always have like Mexican lady, Mexican themed stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, Carl's Jr. Look, look different yeah. than Hardy's, but it's the same. Yeah. But yeah, man. <sighs> I'm ready to go already. If you need him to, to unhook. Because he's still, he's still at the spot. I think there's a guy right there right now. So I already told him, if he already parked, I told him to unhook. Okay. So that he, he you can have a better chance to get in the nine. Okay. trailer was just sitting right here. Turn that corner. Come on, man. I would not have been able to do this, y'all. This would have been a 
shipper that I would have had to say. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> For real. tries though I came front got and I had to park on this side of number nine crazy and I guess he gonna try to get beside me this whole dog a lot this whole place is too small for everything they got going on I mean I ain't it ain't for me to say but I'm saying it and I ain't saying I'm like that if somebody had very minimal backing skills. They would have been here for a while. That's all I can say. Serious question. What? Do you think monogamy is natural? Whoa, ho, ho. That's a big one. I'm gonna drop, <laughs> I, I drop, I drop the phone. I mean, I think it's natural. I mean, I feel like monogamy is a choice. I mean, in the confines of marriage, are you talking about monogamy in just I'm a relationship? Are you talking monogamy, about marriage? Because it is I'm different. I'm talking about the fact of dealing with one individual for any and all of your sexual fantasy or whatever like is dealing with one person and in a monogamous relationship where it's just you for them them for you is that a natural way of life i feel like it's natural for me i mean i feel like as females from a female perspective i would say that it's natural i mean so what with that? So what about the fact that there's more women than there is men? From that same female perspective, it ain't enough men for every woman to have a but one it, man. So it how haven't from, always been that way though. I mean, since when? I mean, I I I mean, I guess to a degree, but it's it's more of that now because you have men that's locked up, you have men that are you know. Um, 
it's always been. I mean, you know, I mean, well, okay, so it's always been. From a from an X and Y chromosome perspective, there's always going to be more women than there is men. Okay, so there's so, more females born than there are men. Okay, so but what does that mean? Well, that means it means that, no, it means that 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 thought process you just had dealing with the fact that from a woman's perspective, that is natural. If that is the case. There's not enough men for every woman to have a man. So how can it, how can each man be for one woman, be a natural way of life or a natural order of life, when there's not enough people to equally, everybody have that. But that's with the concept of of believing that everybody's desire is to be married, or okay, everybody. So, so if every man gets married to a woman, there's still going to be women, who. Have no have man. Have no man. Okay. So. So then what? Because from that female perspective, every woman should have one, and every woman should be able to get their own. But it ain't enough for every woman to have their own. So, what do the woman do? What does the woman do who doesn't have uh, a man in a sense? Yes. And that's her desire to be to be with a man or just to be married i mean what what is i mean for one to be with a man but of course because uh, uh, a I woman assume, can be with a man while he's married so i, I mean that. i'm saying i'm sure the thought process would be to be well i mean well i say this being married that's a whole nother thing i mean it is but if but you if talk that, of monogamy we oh okay so you're just saying between a man and woman period monogamy you just yes. talking about in that sense yes so, can, okay can it, because I, I say it's not natural. I, I say that it's a daily thought process. It's a daily decision. It's a daily thing to stay to yourself. Well, I I feel, I mean, to a degree, yes, of course, I agree with that. But I only had those thoughts and things like that before I was in a committed relationship. Once I got in a committed relationship, those thoughts don't ponder over me like that on a day-to-day basis because I made my mind up. Now, are there times that I see people that I could be attracted to? Of course. Do I see people that I think that are, uh, uh, you know, I mean, I'm human at the end of the day. But do I have my thoughts going to thinking about, oh, I want to be sexual or I wish I could, you know, be with them sexually? No. No. No, that's not an ongoing process that I have to be concerned about. Now, honestly, if our relationship was not the way it is, it could be a thought process for me. I'm just speaking for me. I'm just speaking for me. In prior relationships, if things were not, if I didn't feel like I was totally, um, or let me just say it like this. If I felt like I was being neglected to a degree on 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 some on some level when it came to um how much I felt like we were um the man in my life was giving me the attention and and loving me the way I wanted to be loved, then it could have me thinking about the affection of another man, but before I would do that, I would approach that with him and be out of the relationship. Now, this is after I became a little grown I have cheated. <laughs> but I'm talking about after uh, I've gotten grown. <laughs> I'm talking about after I've gotten older. Now, in my, you know, my early 20s, teenage years, yeah, and things was... like that, that's different. You know what I'm saying? That's different. You know, if one guy, if he ain't doing like well, that, that, well, I should say that, that definitely ain't enough grown men for all the grown women. Definitely okay, classify not. grown. Because so some men think they're grown. Well, you just What's said, you just said, until you got grown. So what was it grown for you? I would say to a degree that a woman is going to start understanding who she is at a, as a woman, honestly. Right between, I would say, t- uh, 30 and 40. I mean, up until like 30 years old, okay, you might, you might still, you'll know who you are. But when you get into like your 30s, you know who you are as a woman. You really know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're not playing games. So by then, You're not trying to figure it out. So you by, know. By, by the time she knows who she, she is and decides that one man is all she wants, that she ain't even with no cheating stuff like she used to be when she was young. Wait a minute. 
it. I'm when just saying. Hold up, you though. Said, hey, you said stuff happened when you were younger. I mean, younger when I was got, younger, okay. when I was younger, okay. I didn't have the patience. It didn't feel like I right. needed it. So, and I felt like if I'm with somebody and he's not giving me what I want, I don't have to deal with that. Okay. And I would leave. Right. So, or I would cheat. So, with that being said, when that woman gets to that age where she comes to that understanding for herself, what's her selection like? Say that one more time. Once the woman gets to that age where she knows what she wants and all of those things and, and, and is secure in herself and all that good old stuff, the selection that she has as a 40-year-old woman, 30-plus 40-year-old woman, mm-hmm. Her selection is even shorter than it was when she was in her 20s. I mean, it depends on a woman. Because it's some women I mean, that... it all depends. Everything is dependent on something. I'm just saying it depends, no on it depends on a woman. It depends on a woman. I'm just saying. Because it's some women it's that... It's monogamy natural, bro. Look. <laughs> is monogamy a natural way of life? I think it's a natural way of life. If that's what you're choosing. Okay, well, what y'all think? Do you think monogamy is natural? I mean, I'm a married man saying this, so... I guess regardless of what my, what my stance I mean, is, okay, my actions Okay, what you mean natural? You mean is it, is it just natural for us to want to um, be with one person? I, I can only speak for myself I'm and saying. the females that I have that's in my circle. And most of us want husbands. Most of us want to be in monogamous relationships. And most of us have been raised to feel that way. I don't say, I don't think my mom ever said to me, um, you need to be with one man. I mean, no, she never said that to me, but my mother was married. Um, it was other people around me, my aunts and things. They were married. The ones that weren't married, they was with one man. I mean, it was not a normal thing to see a woman with multiple men, nor a man with multiple women. Now, have I heard of times where you would find out that a family member had cheated or something like that? Yeah, because I know some stories, bro. It was, like, devastating. I know some stories about family, bro. Yes, but what I'm saying is, is that <laughs> yes, but we would say like it was devastating because it's like okay, why are they cheating on their wife? Like, like why are you why are you doing that? You know, my thing is because I can. No, this is my stance. <laughs> this is my stance. Before you make a commitment to say that you're gonna marry somebody, you need to have gotten that out of your system. I don't know. And what that you means. should respect. Don't play with me. When you say out of your system, what does you that mean? You need to get that out of your system. But how do you know? Why marry system? somebody? Why marry somebody? Because you don't want them to be with nobody else. Okay, so where's the double standard in that? So I'm supposed to be all for you and you not all for me? Get out of here. Hey, again. Again what? Equality does not mean identical. But we'll see. Like I said. Here you what, go with your riddles. What, 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 what y'all saying these riddles like he. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all think? Leave, leave, leave a comment. What y'all think? Is is monogamy natural? Is it a natural way of life? We all grown here. What you think? Doesn't bank rose, yeah. I made myself a boss. Had to learn from my mistakes. Yeah, I had to take a loss. They say it cost to be the boss. Don't make us nail to the cross. When that back touch down, we gon' call it Brandon Moss. When that back touch down, we gon' call it Brandon Moss. When that back touch down, we gon' call it Brandon Moss. Had to learn from my mistakes. Had to make myself a boss. Had